many times you get videos and then sometimes a person, a talent, they may mess up on a word. So I have a video here of uh, Pastor Lola Moore. Uh, she messed up, but it's not a deal breaker for the video. So I'm in Final Cut Pro 10. I'm going to just select the clips, hit the W key to put it in the timeline. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to listen to what she says. Lola Moore and and before he allows the waters to return to their resting place, he tells Joshua to take 12 stones from the middle of the Jordan and to move them over to Gilgal. As I reflected on the verse, I wondered to myself, why God would use stones with all of the creative power that he has in all of the world? Why would God put the responsibility of reminding the whole world of what he had done on a stone? Well, as I looked, I learned that all stones have a testimony. They all have a stone. Uh, a all right, right there. So we're going to put a marker there because we know that's a to do item and we need to fix this. So that's the first thing we're going to fix this. And she looks up. So we're going to zoom in on that. So uh, the first thing I like to do when I when we have those markers is I want to go here and I want to make it an audio only because I know it's more of an audio situation. And the second thing is I want to put B-roll over that. So when we do that, we know we're going to have B-roll ready. So she's looking out into the um, and, and on some stones. And then I'm going to make sure that I have a video only. And then I'm going to hit the Q button to connect the clip. So uh, probably right around there. Of what he had done on a stone. Well, as I looked, I learned that all stones have a testimony. They all have a stone. Uh, a st okay, so all have a. And it's right around this area. So what I want to do. Uh, a when she says, uh. All have a stone. Let's listen one more time. So to listen to select a range, because you can't really do this without selecting ranges, you're going to hit the R key. And that's going to select a range selector key. So we're going to just select right around here and to play around the range instead of hitting space bar you're going to hit the backslash under the question mark testimony they all have a sto uh, a story all right so we're going to move a it testimony. They and i'm going to go all have a sto uh, a story all right so that is the area in question that we're going to do so i'm going to go hit the b key and actually let's play around all again have a sto uh, a story all have a sto uh, a story so i have a have a we're gonna hit B, blade it. Then I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit. Once so, I hit it blade, uh, I'm, I'm going to move this over like this, and I'm going to hit the uh, T key for the trim. And actually, I'm not going to do that type of trim. I'm just going to do A, and then I'm going to go ahead and um, move that over. Then I'm going to go ahead and hit the R key again to play around. See how it sounds. All have a uh, a story. Let's see it. All have a have a. So we're gonna go back to the A key, and then we're gonna fine tune this side over a little bit. All right, there we go. See the waveforms. Make sure snapping is off. Hit the R key to select the range again. And they all have a uh, a. All right. So basically, all you're doing as an editor is just fine-tuning everything and and playing through everything all have a, uh, a all right without the jump cut so i did do one that's fixed so i'm not going to spend so much time because i did do this correctly so let's go to one that's fixed and let's see um let's hear how it sounds and here here's the final product right here so we're going to hit our key for range selector and we're going to play in between them on a stone well, as I looked, I learned that all stones have a testimony. They all have a story. Okay, so you can't even tell once you see that. So when you see, I'm going to go back into the audio waveforms so you can see. Then I'm going to zoom in, and you'll see how I actually cut that. Uh, just for time, I just want to show you that it is possible to have that. All right, let's hit A again, and then let's hit range selection, and then we're going to go right there, and then we're going to hit the backspace. Stones have a testimony. They all have a story. You can't even tell that it was even uh, messed up. So that's a quick way of how to fix stuff. Remember, use your rain selection tool, use your blade tool, and use your trim tools. Those are tools that are very, very helpful whenever you're doing these types of edits. If you have any questions, you can email us at ask at webvideochefs.com or visit our website at webvideochefs.com. Talk to you soon.